NanoGeo. Polymer nanoparticles, which are a type of plastic, are being used in geoengineering experiments for chemical delivery. However, there is a lack of research on the impact of these particles on the environment and human health. If they actually cared about the environment and human health, the studies would have been completed before they, the scientists and the world's governments, dispersed these toxic microplastics into the atmosphere. Microplastics are an exotic plastic particle and these particles are accumulating on remote mountaintops, the soil of farmlands, oceans, rivers, and lakes, and the human body through inhalation and ingestion of contaminated food or air. These microplastics can accumulate in the body and trigger immune responses or local toxicity, male and female infertility, colon cancer, and impaired lung function, chronic pulmonary inflammation which could elevate the risk of lung cancer. These microplastics do alter the climate with a cooling effect similar to other geoengineering aerosol particles such as aluminum and silver iodide. One gram of silver iodide can create 10 trillion ice crystals and it's extremely toxic and it's over our heads cloud seeding and creating rain and snowfall, falling back to the ground and contaminating everything it touches. Geoengineering using nanoparticles of plastic to carry chemicals required to create the cloud film that blocks out the sun is called nanogeo. There are a wide range of particles being released into the stratosphere to achieve solar radiation management, blocking out the sun. Sulfates and nanoparticles currently favored include sulfur dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, carbonyl sulfide, black carbon, and specifically engineered disks composed of metallic aluminum, aluminum oxide, and barium titanate. But this is just a small piece of a much larger story, so make sure you're subscribed on YouTube and follow along on Facebook. Alright, I'd like to thank Abby for buying me a few cups of coffee. Much love and many thanks. Okay, Sky Watchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.